Equipment Watch, a provider of heavy equipment values and specs data, has announced the finalists for its seventh annual Equipment Watch Highest Retained Value Awards. This is the only industry awards program that leverages third party, unbiased data to identify the construction, lift and access, and agricultural equipment that is projected to best hold its value. Equipment Watch Highest Retained Value Awards are presented in 30 categories honoring 2022 model year equipment. The finalists represent the model series in each category projected to retain the highest percentage of their original value during the next five years. Winning manufacturers will be announced on October 17th. Here are the construction category finalists. In the backhoe category, contenders include the Kubota L47 along with two deer models, the 310SL HL and the 315SL. Komatsu claimed two finalist spots in the large tracked dozer category with its D85EX-18 and D155AXI-8 models. Case's 2050M is also in the running. Komatsu and Case are also pitted against each other in the small tracked dozer category. Models include the Komatsu D51 EX-24 and D39 PXI-24 and the Case 1150M. In drum compactors, the battle is on between BOMAG and HOM. The three finalist models include the BOMAG BW124DH-5 and the HOM H12I and H12IP. Tandem drum compactor finalists are the Wacker Neusen RD28-120, the Dynapack CC950, and the Caterpillar CB-34B. Kobelko, Wacker Neusen, and Yanmar are in the hunt for the top spot in the compact excavator category. Models include the Kobelko SK17SR-5E, Wacker Neusen EZ17, and Yanmar VI-017-A. Caterpillar, Komatsu, and Volvo have entered the ring in the large crawler excavator category. Which model will come out on top? The Caterpillar 335F LCR, the Komatsu PC800LC-8, or the Volvo EC380E. The medium crawler excavator category has the case CX250D pitted against the Doosan DX225LCA and the Link Belt 250X4. Small crawler excavator finalists include the Doosan DX140LC-5, the Cabelco SK140SRLC-5, and the Komatsu PC78US-10. For the compact track loader category, the ASV VT-70, Ditchwich SK850, and the New Holland C234 are duking it out. In the large skid steer category, you'll again find ASV with the VS-60 and RS-75 up against the New Holland L234. Gale snagged two spots in the small skid steer loader category with the R150 and R105, which are taking on the Takeuchi TS60R. Which manufacturer will take the crown in the large wheel loader category? Volvo with its L120H or L250H, or the Doosan DL300-5. In the medium wheel loader category, Case and its 821G and 621G XT are pitted against the Liebherr L550 X-Power. Will Yanmar make a name for itself in the small wheel loader category? Its V10 and V12 are in the running against the Volvo L50H. Motor grader finalists are the Deer 622G, Komatsu GD655-6, 
in the Leeboy 685C. And when it comes to rear dump trucks, the Deer 410E, Dusan DA30-5, and Volvo A60H are neck and neck. In the lift and access category, the following manufacturers are competing for the top spot. In the articulating boom lift category, models in the running include the Genie Z-30-20NRJ, the MEC-60-J, and the JLG H340AJ hybrid. Two JLG models, the FT70 and Ecolift 70, face the Genie SX-125XC in the telescopic boom lift category. When it comes to electric scissor lifts, Genie, JCB, and Snorkel are all vying for the top spot. Models include the Genie GS-4047, the JCB S1930E, and the Snorkel S3219E. For the internal combustion scissor lift category, it's a jostle between the Genie GS-2669BE JLG 430LRT and MEC 3084RT. The JCB TM220, Pettibone 8044, and Skyjack SJ843TH are in a squabble for the title of top telehandler lift truck. And as for warehouse, narrow aisle lifts, only one will reign supreme. Will it be the Hyundai 25D-9, the Toyota 8FB E15U, or the Unicarrier's AF50? In the agricultural equipment category, here are the 2022 finalists. Kubota sweeps the Baylor's category with the BV4160, BV4180, and BV5160, taking the three finalist spots. New Holland has claimed two spots in the combine category with its CR990 and CX840. The models are up against the Gleaner S88. The corn headers category finalists are the case IH4206-30, the Gerringhoff RD1200B, and the New Holland 3PN. Which self-propelled sprayer will come out on top? The Apache AS730, Hagee STS12, and New Holland SP400F are in the running. Track Tractor category finalists are the Case IH Steiger 420 Road Track, the Challenger MT845E, and the Deer 9570RT. Who will roll away with the title of top large wheeled tractor? Finalists include the Case IH Steiger 470, the Massey Ferguson 8737, and the New Holland. T9645. And as for small wheeled tractors, the Kubota M6 131 and M566 0 SUH will face off against the Branson 522 0H. Equipment World will announce the winners later this fall, so if you want to find out the heavy equipment with the highest retained value in each category, stay tuned to equipmentworld.com.